Would you believe I picked up this cute little apron for 99 cents at the hardware store? I guess they're carpenter's aprons or little tool belts that you can get to put your tacks and your hammer in. But I thought it'd be a great craft apron. And look, all I did was add some felt and embroidery and oh, let's see, I've got some safety pins and beads on there too to finish it off. Just put this on and I've got a place now for my glue gun, my glue sticks, and anything else I'm using to craft with. So let's get started and let me show you how I did it. This is what it looked like before I started. Just a hardware store apron and it has great pockets. I, I just ironed it really good and now I'm ready to place anything on there that I want. So I decided to use felt. Now I've got I'll, maybe four colors here is all you need and I made a nice little pattern with a bird. Use pinking shears to cut it out and the first thing you want to cut out is something that goes over the emblem on the apron and that will cover it very nicely. And I'm going to give everyone this pattern today with the little blue bird and the little cherry blossoms. So cut out your blue for your bird and he's going to go right on there and then cut out a little wing. Cut out several of the cherry blossoms and they're going to be able to go all the way across just like so and just like so. Now the next step is to start sewing. After you've done your placement then you'll need some embroidery floss. Embroidery floss comes in so many pretty colors and I've chosen the blue and the raspberry and the brown to do this. You just put your embroidery floss onto a really large needle like I've done here and then you're going to take rather large stitches and just go back and forth until you're all the way around. And you do the same thing on the other pieces. See how it just continues to build? I've got my little bluebird on and the little eye with just a bead and I put that bead on with a safety pin. See how easy that is? And then I'm going to do the little branch. And this is a simple stitch. It goes behind where you bring the stitch up and then it goes back in and over, back in, under, back in, under, and you just continue until you go all the way across. Now let me show you. The next part is so pretty and so simple. I've taken safety pins and put a little pearl and some sequins on it and just open up the little safety pin and pin it on wherever you'd like it. That can hold on your little cherry blossoms and then be added onto other spots just for decoration. That is so cool and really fast. You can do this in an afternoon and you've got a cute little crafter's apron.